As you can tell by the title, I have the new Natasha Denona mini bronze in my little hands. I'm so excited to just throw it on my eyeballs and get playing. If you guys know my excitement, I uploaded this weekend a video talking about my anticipation for the palette and she's here. I did order this off of Sephora.com. I paid for expedited shipping through the app, but it is actually right now available on Sephora. I believe it's coming to Beautylish today. You can order it off of the Natasha Denona website as well. Lots of different dates for different retailers in different countries for Natasha Denona as well, but all I know as I have her in my hands and we are going to play. If you're new to my channel, I review uh, pretty much everything that Natasha Denona comes out with, particularly the eyeshadow palettes. I think she has one of the best formulas on the market. And anytime she launches a new mini, it's really exciting because this is her most affordable way to try her palettes without breaking the bank all at once. You know, her palettes range from $60 to $200 and then she has this range of minis which are $27. So there was in fact to price increase these did used to be $25 but now they are $27 as with what every other brand is doing right now so let's get into it this is the box it's going to come in right here the palette is made in Italy and it has a 24 month shelf life there are five shades in here online it says this palette is inspired by Natasha's best-selling bronze palette and features five warm toned and creamy matte and metallic finish is perfect for summer so this is the bronze palette it is a midi size and here's what it looks like I did a whole review on this multiple looks this is a beautiful palette I used this a ton last summer my only hesitation with this palette is that I felt like every look that I did with this turned out to be the same variation of a bronze look so that's why when Natasha announced a mini bronze I was Surprised. I did not feel as though the bronze palette needed an extension, but I'm excited to see what she did with this. Let's go ahead. Let's take a closer look at this palette. In today's review, I'm going to be doing a tutorial, swatches, overall review, and then swatch comparisons of the palettes that I do have. So it's the same typical packaging as the Natasha Denona mini sizes. I think these are great. They're phenomenal for travel. They're not gonna break your wallet all at once. And as of late, they have been very consistent quality with her much pricier palettes. So it really is just a little taste of Natasha Denona for $27. As you can see, we have the four mattes and one metallic shade. All are new shades except for Flesh right here. Flesh right here is in the star palette. But other than that, these four shades are new. Though I will say we probably can find some dupes from Natasha Denona's line. But let's go ahead and swatch these. For the time being, I have the lights down nice and low so you can get a good look at the colors here. So we're going to go into Russet, Flesh, and Gobi. So here's Russet. Flesh is a little bit deeper than my skin tone. And then Gobi. I was thinking that Flesh was going to be a wee bit lighter. Okay, I'm excited to see how bronze foil is. That's the one metallic shade. And then we have Tough, which is quite orange looking, no? Okay, let's see. So, oof, beautiful, beautiful, buttery. All right, so this is the palette, all five of the shades swatched. I mean, I'm not overwhelmed. You know, this is a simple bronze palette in a small compact, so it's gonna be fabulous for travel, but nothing mind-blowing, which is okay. There's room for palettes like this. Now, I will be doing comparisons towards the end, but I did wanna show you how this looks next to the bronze palette really quickly. There's a couple shades here that I'm definitely excited to to swatched next to each other, right? I'm gonna do that towards the end. Do I feel like it looks like an extension of the palette? Obviously, I can see the relation. Yes, it's inspired by this palette. Let's say that these colors were actually a part of this palette. Would my feelings be any different? Would this elevate the experience of the bronze palette? That's what I'm gonna test today. But I am gonna say no. We'll see. Let me get the look on one eye and I'll be back and we're gonna really test out this palette. Based on swatches so far, everything swatched just fine. So, here we go. Okay, you guys, I already have some thoughts. I'm telling you now, quality seems to be really great. Natasha did on quality, but color story-wise, so, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Flesh. 
This is a nice matte kind of warm transition shade. Now this is an awesome shade. If you have like medium to deep skin tones, this is going to be a great highlight shade, base color, all over lid shade. But if you have obviously a skin tone similar to mine, it works great as a transition tone. So I think that this is a fabulous shade. Now it is the one pre-existing shade. So if you have the star palette, then you have this shade, but it still is quite a lovely transition shade. I'm going to go ahead and pop that along my lower lash line. I'm using an an ABH crease brush in case you're curious. Beautiful. <laughs> Very simple. Didn't do too much with that. The Sigma E24, we're going into the shade Gobi right here, which is a little bit deeper. And I'm going to keep this just a little bit lower than flesh. As you can see, it does go a hair deeper than flesh, but honestly, not as much difference as I was expecting. I find the two of them blend together to be a very similar shade. I almost feel like if I were to blend this out, it would look very similar to flesh. As I layer it up, obviously it gets deeper, it gets more opaque, but I feel like I could get a similar effect with these two by just using this one shade and diffusing it, but it does make the blend a lot easier. Going to also put this all along my lower lash line, build up that depth. With an Esim V33, we're going into tough right here. As you can see, this has a little bit more warmth than the other shades. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm pressing it into the outer half of my eyelid, still just using the blending brush, and then I'm going to work it out into the other colors. So you can see this definitely looks different from the other shades. Taking what's left over on my brush, blending that on the lower lash line. Because of the colors chosen in this palette, it's very, very easy to get a seamless blend. So if you struggle with kind of that ombre out, you know, getting from darkest to lightest, the way that she's put these colors together, it's gonna be very easy for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into Russet right here, which is the deepest shade, using an Olimar Cosmetics brush. And this shade is not as dark as I really want it to be. You can see it is deeper than tough right here, but not by too terribly much. Again, I have that similar feeling to where if I just blend this out, I could get it to look the same as this color. So it does help with beginners with blending, but if you're a decent blender, I do feel as though some of these shades, like they're kind of unnecessary. I have four matte shades in the crease right now, and we have a very nice, easy, seamless looking blend, but I don't think it, needed to take four different matte shades to get this kind of look. I really feel like I could have gotten this done with two really good matte shades. And then I'm going into bronze foil. I'm gonna show you how it applies with a brush. This is just a cheap random shader brush from Morphe. And it is really great Natasha Denona quality. It applies nice with a brush, but as always, it does apply superior with a finger, but you can definitely use both ways of application. And boom, like this is the look. I'm telling you now, with this palette, you're not gonna get a huge variety in looks. Pretty much every look that you do is going to look the same because I feel like the mattes are very close and they all share the same undertone. The variety here is not gonna be here. And I definitely feel the same way about the big bronze palette. And I feel like I could definitely get this look with the bronze palette. So my main issue with the palette here is the colors are too similar. They all kind of lean in the medium to medium deep depth range. And because of that, it's harder to get variety with looks, especially with them also having that same really warm undertone. To be able to get more variety in looks, if you're going to compile a little palette like this, I really do think you need to have more range and depth. You know, a really, really light shade that you can use for a highlight and then a really, really deep shade that you can used to smoke and liner in terms of getting an all-encompassing palette that you can take to travel, which is what most people use these Natasha Denona palettes for. And I just don't feel like I get enough variety for that with this palette. If I traveled with this palette, I'd want to travel with other shades that were lighter and darker to create more dimension in my eye look. So that is my main reservation with this palette. I'm not upset about them being this, a similar undertone. It's a bronze palette, that's fine. But because they're all like medium, medium deep depth, you're not gonna get too much 
dimension and differences in your look. What I would have liked to have seen was this become an even lighter, lighter shade and this one be even deeper. And I think that would have made all of the difference. I even personally, for my preferences, would have preferred maybe a lighter lid shade, but that's just personal right there. I think it is very pretty, but I don't think this look looks different from what I can get with the bronze palette alone. So I'm already telling you, if you have the bronze palette and you want like a unique shade extension that's going to enhance the experience of the bronze palette, I don't think the mini bronze does that. I don't think you need it. However, if you do have the bronze palette, you love the tone so much and you want to travel with Natasha Denona quality and get bronze looks, this is something that you might want to consider. But in terms of it adding to this palette, being a useful extension, to this palette. I don't think that's the case. And I think that with this palette as a whole, I am left wanting more. Like I want to pop a highlight in here. I want to get a super dark smoky shade out here to really kind of amp up this palette. But the look is really pretty and the quality is really good. So let me finish my eye makeup. So here is the makeup with the liner and lashes. I mean, it's a bronze palette. <laughs> Overall, like I said, the quality of this is really, really nice, but there's just not enough in here for me. But if you like a bronze look, you will like this. This is a gorgeous bronze look. So I wanted to do a direct comparison between this and the bronze palette. So I already showed you earlier them by, by side by side and I swatched the shades next to each other that I thought would be the closest and this is interesting. So right? Okay. So this is the mini bronze and this is the bronze palette and the shades that I thought were the closest and I mean you guys, they're really, really close. <laughs> There's like a hair of difference between each shade, but I definitely, if you're worried about repeat shades, I would not pick up the mini bronze if you have the bronze palette and vice versa. I mean, very, very close. Natasha did her own swatches and her own swatch comparisons. There's just not enough differences for me personally, but that's up to you to decide. I actually do want to swatch bronze foil compared to the other shimmers. So this is bronze shimmer or bronze foil, excuse me, from the mini bronze and I'm going to swatch compared to some of the other ones in the midi bronze palette. This is palladium by the way, and that's how these look. Palladium definitely is a little bit more cool and brown based. So this is Silk from the Midi Bronze, definitely a little bit lighter. Here's Gloaming right here. I feel like Gloaming is pretty close. It has a little bit more richness to it, a hint more red. True Bronze, definitely more gold in there. Alloy, definitely more yellow. And then the last one is True Copper which I think honestly is a little bit more orange, but very close. I mean, these are all of the shimmers, these bottom five here from the midi bronze. And then of course we have the bronze foil at top. I mean, they all look very similar, don't they? I mean, this palette is a really great mini rendition of the bronze palette. And it's so funny how all of my thoughts about the bronze palette, the big one, are exactly the same as the mini one where it's really great quality but they're all kind of in the same family range so you don't get much variety. She really took the vibes and put them in the mini. Let me fix up these swatches and I have a couple other palettes that I want to compare to. Alright, I got a lot of requests from you guys to compare to the Biba palette and there is definitely not, I would say, a similar shimmer shade but the mattes are very comparable. This right here is the mini bronze and this is the Biba palette. So I have Pasha from the Biba palette, Tusk, Prairie. This is Shine, not even close. And then here is Buff. So I would say Pasha's really close. I mean, similar vibes. You definitely can get a similar look minus the metallic shade with the Biba palette. I would say definitely the mattes run a little bit close here. Here is mini bronze next to mini sunset. Similar vibes here for sure. And then mini bronze, mini sunset. Similar vibes, but no real dupes except for these two shades right here. A lot of you requested mini nude. I don't have mini nude, unfortunately, to compare, but I'll show you the other ones that I pulled. I felt like these weren't very close though. Mini glam right here, you can see, is much more cool toned. So I would say these are not close. Then we have mini zendo, which has more pink in it. I would say. Definitely different, more cooler and pinky. And then here is the mini Biba palette. Again, very, very pink. I would say the top two shades look close to one another, but other than that, 
I've noticed no similarities. So those are all of the palettes that I have to compare today. You would notice, of course, the midi size bronze definitely had the most similar dupes, if you will, to this palette. And then Bebo was a close second. Definitely the mattes are pretty dupable in here. And I thought Mini Sunset had similar vibes, but honestly, the quality on Mini Sunset is not there. Mini bronze is much, much better than Mini Sunset. So overall, I do like this palette. I think it's good quality. It's not my favorite mini in the world and it has the exact same problems that I had with the bronze palette with all of the looks looking the same just not giving me that variety I want but if you do love the color story you do love a good bronze look you're not short for quality here so that's that that's all I have to say about the mini bronze palette let me know your thoughts below if you have any additional questions let me know did you pick it up if you did let me know your thoughts and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video we are almost on a 100k i'm so excited tell your friends i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one